to my channel and for today's video I created this look using the Arkansas Paris palette this is the ooh la la palette and this one is so pretty and I'm going to show you the swatches of this palette and I'm sure that this one is really worth it so if you want to know how I did this look keep on watching for this look, instead of using an eye primer, I used a concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 20 and I blend this product onto my eyelids. Then I'm going to set this product using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Before I head on to the eye look, let me show you first the palette. This is the Arkansas Ulala palette in number two, which is Wild Shanna. The first three shades on the right are the lightest, while on the left side are the darkest. I like this palette so much because it is so pigmented. It is just sad that this palette doesn't come with any matte shades but I'm totally fine with that. As you can see, I'm using the shade number 5 from this Oolala palette and I use my fingers to pack the product into my eyelids. Then I just use a blending brush to somehow diminish those harsh lines and going back to the palette, this time I'm using my brush to pack more colors onto my eyelids because I really want to have that smoky effect. This time I'm going to put the shade number 3 which is kind of a bit orange and I'm going to apply this one into my crease to create that gradient effect in this look then i just use a clean brush to somehow blend the product at the same time i'm just trying to tone down the look then blend 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 this time again i'm using my fingers to pack more product onto my leads now i'm going to use my tartius pro palette and use the shade classic to highlight my brow bone then I'm going to use the shade cold smoke and I'm going to apply this dark brown shade into my outer V and then I'm blending again this time I'm going to clean up any fallouts in my face and proceed to my foundation I'm going to use this fit me foundation by Maybelline and using my AOA brush I'm just trying to make sure that the product is well blended in my skin after doing my foundation i'm going to proceed with the concealer i'm also using a product from maybelline this is the fit me concealer in number 20 and i'm going to apply this product under my eyes then again i'm going to use a brush and going to blend this product and to set my concealer, I'm going to use this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm going to pack this powder into the concealer. Then after that, I'm going to do and finish my eye look. Starting off with my lower lash line, I'm just going to apply all of the shades from the Oolala palette from Arkansas and I'm going to blend that one. And for my eyeliner, I use this brown eyeliner from Arkansas. This is the liner cabaret and I just put on some lashes and mascara. And to contour my face, I'm using this Unreal Contour Duo from Arkansas and I'm going to apply that one in my cheeks then under my lips after that I'm going to use this Maybelline cream puff blush and apply this very beautiful rosy ish shade blusher whatever you call it onto my cheeks then going back to the unreal contour duo I'm going to use the highlighter this one guys is so pretty as you can see my face is really beaming Going back to that contour brown shade, I'm going to line my nose so that I could have that pointed nose, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, I gotta like this one. Then to seal and finish this look, I'm going to use this liquid lipstick from Arkansas. This is the matte hysteria and the shade is prune. So there you have it guys, this is the final look that I came up with using some of the Arkansas products and featuring the Arkansas Oolala palette. So if you like this look, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'm gonna see you soon. Bye!